Let's see KFC make something this tasty. Grilled quail this good should be illegal. Mm. I'm Chewy and in this video I'm going to show you how to grill quail. These are little birds that taste great. So just sit back, grab a drink or two and let's get into it. Quail, when you're hungry but you don't want to eat a whole chicken. There's plenty of ways we can cook these little birds, whole, halved or spatchcocked. And we're going spatchcocked for today's recipe using some sharp kitchen shears. You just want to cut up one side of the backbone and then the other side, then discard it. Then just turn it over and you're going to apply a little bit of pressure to the breastbone and flatten it out. Because an evenly flattened quail cooks more evenly. Go figure. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button for notifications. For the seasoning, I want to go with something zesty with a little bite. So we can add all of these ingredients into a bowl and mix them up. But if you don't like coriander, don't use it. Use parsley or something else. And then just add the quail to the mix and then just toss everything around to make sure all the quail get covered. Now we're just gonna pop these in the fridge for at least an hour to soak up some of that goodness. Quail is small and does not need a lot of time to marinate. Anywhere up to six hours is more than enough time. Once the quails have marinated in the fridge for long enough, get them out and we're gonna allow them to get up to room temperature before we start cooking them. This is just gonna allow them to cook evenly. Being a small bird, they do not take a long time to cook. While waiting, you can check out Chewy's Barbecue on Instagram or join the Facebook group. Today, I'm using a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm pairing it up with a kettle cone because I wanna be cooking at temps of 240 degrees Celsius and above. And how I'll do that is by three quarter filling a chimney starter with briquettes, lighting them up. Once they're fully ashed over, I'll grab my kettle cone, I'll place it in the middle of the charcoal grate and I'll dump that fuel into it. I'll carefully place the grill back in. I'll then pop the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open. And we're gonna give the grill 10 minutes to warm up. Weber, Weber, Weber. Why do you consistently ignore me? I see you there watching me. Once the grill is warmed up, and just place the quails on the outer edge of the grill because this is where that high heat from the kettle cone is being forced. Slam the lid back on and we're gonna let them cook away. Today, I'm cooking with a high indirect heat of 240 degrees Celsius. And all up, this cook's only gonna take 21 minutes. Or for those of you who love to follow my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Cheers. This isn't chicken and it doesn't need to be reading the same internal temp. 65 to 71 degrees Celsius for the breast and 82 to 88 degrees Celsius for the legs is perfect. I'll cook that bird in a minute. If you didn't know, the Weber lid vent creates a hot spot as the cold oxygen is sucked in through the bowl vents and over and around our food. It is then forced out through this lid vent. So to ensure an even cook, I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every seven minutes. And while you're waiting for your food to cook, you could like this video and leave me a comment. The quail is ready to come off the heat. Oh, how good do they look? Now we're just gonna pop them in some foil and there's no need to wrap these up too tight. Grab an esky, add an old towel, pop in the quail, top with another old towel, pop the lid on and we're gonna let them steam away for 20 minutes. 20 minutes? We might as well grab another timer while we wait. The time has come to feast on these mini birds of deliciousness. By allowing these to steam away, they become so tender and moist. Smut! There's really no right or wrong way to enjoy these. Just shove them in your mouth. Weber, here's some tissues. You're gonna need them when I start using other barbecues. Tasty, tender, bite-sized. What more do you want? Uh, mini drumsticks. 